Der DAQ jung unterbrochen, Tagkasse gut halt. Das machen wir jetzt mal. Zum Starten, Engine Start. <lacht> kein, kein verkehrter Sound. Handbremse gerade rausgegangen, und auch gehört. Kann ich sagen, hier, okay. Wir müssen ein paar über dich gebrochen. Drücken wir jetzt einfach hier vorne nach vorne. Fall nach vorne, sobald ich los habe, bleibt er stehen. Selbe Spiel nach hinten, Fall nach hinten. Dann lassen wir wieder los. Ich lasse die Taste los. Wir sind flott. Handbremse rein. Motor aus. Fertig. So we finally got the car, we're in front of the BMW Welt here, birthplace of BMW. You have the headquarters, the famous headquarters here, and it's really a beautiful car. At first I was wondering if it would look a bit too aggressive with the black grille, the 20 inch wheels, but to be honest with the blue color it just looks Magnificent. I thoroughly enjoy this color. It's out of, uh, the color is Phytonic Blue Metallic. In the car, it's a 540i. With no X drive, just the standard, or the, the standard, not the standard, but it's a typical BMW, a six cylinder, petrol engine, rear wheel drive. And oh, I just like this car. I'll just take it to the other side. What do we have here? Does anyone know what kind of color this is? I think it's a special color. This type of green on this BMW X3 hybrid. Sunshine in 
So another video update. We've been driving for 283 kilometers now and we need to, to refuel. Stop to refuel because uh, the car is only delivered with half a full tank. Um, so we're here near the Czech border and then just have a, a view about our consumption. Of course it's not calculated but it's just the car's consumption for our info. And only driving until 160, 170 kilometers an hour. You can see the car used eight and a half liters on 100 kilometers. Fun fact, when refueling, you can see the gauge uh, here. It's increasing and also the, the range you can drive, it's uh, increasing. When asked what to fuel, uh, we decided to go for the Euro 98 because I think it's the best. I also use it on my 320i E90. So yeah, eight and a half liters consumption, 280 kilometers driven. And my first impressions are it, it's, it's really a magnificent machine. I love the six cylinder engine, which has so much power, even if I'm not using it, uh, uh, to run the engine in, you can at most drive 160 kilometers an hour and do 4,500 torques. But still then from uh, from the low torques, there's so much power and then the car just keeps on going and just shoves you into, uh, or just keeps on going faster. It's a completely different thing than the four cylinder 520D, of course. Uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, very enjoyable. Well, one obvious difference uh, compared to the 520D is of course the fuel cost. So as you can see, we're back home. We've had an average fuel consumption of 9.0 liters. Expected to go down after after the engine has been run in, and we've driven today a total of 817 kilometers. <coughs> so I'm heading off to bed. I'm just completely wasted. So it's the day after, I've slept quite well and um, I'm feeling more energized now. So you enjoy this uh, this new car on a totally different level. Uh, today there's no stress, we just have a few uh, business related things to do. And uh, we'll be driving at Rostock uh, just after uh, this in a moment. Just getting some breakfast now at uh, the supermarket here. Rostock is about 180 kilometers, so it's just uh, just some fun driving today. Although it will probably also amount to 100, and, or, uh, 100, no, to about 400, 500 kilometers in total. But anyhow, today is a fun day. The weather is fine. You enjoy a new car. I'm quite uh, quite content. Uh, when it comes to fueling this car, we're using Euro 98. Uh, it saves some gas, Euro 98. Uh, and when you just calculate uh, the difference uh, between paying more for Euro 98 compared to Euro 95, but you're using a bit less consumption, it's only like 20 or 30 euros each year you're paying more on fuel. Uh, if I calculate it on 15,000 kilometers, and that's an amount of money uh, which doesn't hurt. So, and what are the benefits of Euro 98? Uh, you have a bit more range, uh, the car uses a bit less consumption. Um, and I still, in my perception, Euro 98 is a bit better for your engine, although it runs on uh, Euro 95 fine and also on E10. But E10 is some, it, it has some demon like perception for me i wouldn't use even if the car is uh, available for your uh, for e10 i wouldn't use this uh, this type of fuel but please let me know your thoughts about which type of fuel when it comes to petrol you are using for your vehicle
back at home. Closing off the video here at 400 kilometers today. Not uh, so much special, but still I hope you enjoyed this extra part. Uh, thanks for watching.